In the music world, Nigerian rapper Michael Stevens, popularly known as Rugged Man or Ruggedy Baba, has jumped on the raving Shaku Shaku buzz with the release of his new track featuring Mr. Real title Sukasa Mikasa. Sukasa Mikasa. Sukasa Mikasa. Efeche Bukasa. Jack in for one leg back, but Moti Mo Bobby fell in love. Beatty gone low, dread you. Only bounce the river, go there to the back. The dance-oriented track is Rugged Man's first commercial offering since jumping on the hashtag NSARS campaign during which he released the track is Police Your Friend. He joins us now on the program via telephone. Congratulations on the new track. Now tell us the creative process behind it. Um, well, the process behind the track, I just wanted something, um, I wanted something that was trending. Uh, and obviously Shaku Shaku is what's trending right now. If you remember my song, uh, Baraje, uh, in one of the verses I said, I, I blend with the trend, stay forever like culture. And what I meant by that was, I'm able to adapt to whatever type of music is trending and you know put out something and stay relevant music-wise. And also, um, and I just thought to myself, okay, who can I reach? In, um, to feature on the song and of course I had access to Mr. Real. I buzzed him and he said he was down for it. Um, and this uh, Ben Ray producer called Young Zeal, the beatbox, he made the beat. And his man is even a bit like uh, 50 percent South African, Guara Guara, and then 50 percent did the mix. And um, that was what we got. And yeah, some people are like, why did you go like 90% Yoruba on it? I'm like, well, it's Shaku Shaku Jari. Is anything you want to shoot to it, you do to it. I decided to do that to it. And um, that's how you got Sukasa Mikasa. Even though um, Mr. Rio did his verse first, and then he did his hook, and uh, he did the hook first, he recorded first and sent to me. Then I did my part, and we mixed it. The track features raving singer Mr. Real and rides on the raving Shaku Shaku dance feel. How easy was it for you to get into that rhythm? Uh, well, I've been, okay, I was going to say I've been in the industry long enough, but uh, I know a couple of people who have been in the industry long enough, to, but I haven't been able to, I'm not, you know, get into that rhythm. But um, it took a while. I don't lie, it took a while, but then once you're creative, you're creative. Like I, I also said in one of my songs, Tiwa A Binibi, meaning ours is inborn. We didn't learn it. So it wasn't too difficult, but I had to do it because I wanted to do it. And then Mr. Rio kind of helped because he put, he got the vibe in there. And I just jumped on it. With the song mostly delivered in Yoruba, don't you have concerns about reaching non Yoruba speaking fans? Yeah, well, I guess it's the same way Awilo and Kofio uh, Lumidi uh, got across. People who are interested in that kind of sound will listen to it, whether they understand it or not. It would even be another way of educating some people who don't know how to speak Yoruba. Somebody will have to translate and they will understand. Because I remember when Gongo Asok came out, I had it in my car. I had a Lebanese mechanic in Apapa. When I went to pick up my car, he asked me if I could let him take the CD, keep the CD, the Gongwaso CD. And I'm like, but you don't speak Yoruba. He said, yeah, yeah, he knows, but he just likes the sound, the vibe, you know, the groove. So it's it's music. Sometimes you might not have to understand the language, but as long as there's groove, and if you're interested enough, you can ask someone to interpret for you. Many thanks again for joining us, Rugged Man.